The Majesty. I know you are in deep pain, but this is beyond mere mortal pain. Be a man. Be the king, the lion that we have always known you to be. <sighs> Goodbye, our queen. <sighs> Your Majesty, if money could buy life, our queen will not be lying in this casket like this. Your Majesty, you did everything humanly possible to make sure our queen lived. But fate has its own plans. Take heart, my king. My queen. Fare thee well and have a glorious journey. The flame of love which you have lit in this kingdom shall never be extinguished. Fare thee well, my noble queen. Fare thee well. Death. Death is that ill wind that blows no one any good. It knows no one. Its victim can be either young or old. <sighs> the bitter truth about this life is that death is that sour soup all of us must taste one day. Grieve no more, my king, for she has gone to that great beyond of no return. <sighs> Farewell, my queen. Farewell. Your Majesty. A man does not die at the spot where he lost his precious gift. I beg of you, Your Majesty, do not bring calamity upon yourself and the entire people of our kingdom. Push all this behind you. For your head. Courageously move on. Be strong. I a king. The white lion that we have ever been. <sighs> Rest in peace, our beautiful queen. Till we meet to part no more. I was very shocked when I heard that the Queen is passed. I never knew she was sick. Five years she battled cancer. For five years I put my life on hold, fighting to save her life. I did everything that I could to keep the Queen alive. I took her to the best hospitals in the world. Give her the best medical care. That evil 
illness was determined to take her away from us. Pity. You must have spent a hell of the money. Our money. Was not my concern at the time. I I just wanted to save her life. I was willing to spend to the last die. Well, me, but um, fate, fate. My condolences, Your Majesty. Take heart. I strongly believe that the gods uh, have reason for allowing what happens to happen. So they say. So I have been told. But you see, I'm still seated here, waiting for answers. I need to know why an ugly fate like that would befall a good man like me. Well, um, you know, it's part of the mysteries that is beyond human imagination. I want you to understand that uh, life at some point throws things that are bigger than us and we're expected to endure and overcome them all. Well, truth is if the cosmic powers beyond us will sometimes do a proper evaluation of our strengths, I guess that um, they would know what exactly to throw at us, but sometimes with the Akaji Akko. Well, Things I, like this are hard to take. I understand. understand how you feel, Your Majesty. But you need to pull yourself together and move on. Of course, you, you don't need to cling in the past. I know it's not an easy role, but you must allow the past to go so the future can set in. But can we truly have a future without a past? Without a mystery. You will agree with me. <laughs> well, um, Your Majesty. Miriam. Oh. Um, uh, Your Majesty, I, I must be on my way. Your by all means. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Son is that? Come huh? on, Obi. I'm only trying to show concern. Why are you looking this dirty? It's none of your business, Stella. None of your business. You're always aggressive towards me. Why? The, the, the question here should be why poking your nose into what doesn't concern you? Huh? Why won't you just mind your business? Come on, that is exactly what I am doing. You are my business. Hence the reason I decided to stop the moment I saw you. Come on, I. I I don't like the way you're looking. What is the problem? Speak to me. You know, it, it baffles me why a beautiful girl like you, the only daughter of Chief Akadiako, should be distressing yourself the way you do. That's an insult, but I wouldn't want to take it that way. I take it as you any way you want to see, but do not allow me to vex the anger of all those military people did to me to you. Eh? What? What military men? What did you do to them that they treated you this way? Come on, Obi, speak to me. Just say something. I'm I never you. Should I... Come on, stop. Tell me what they did to you. I don't like this. I will take it up and make sure they do not go unpunished. I promise. Look, I, I am not here to exchange words with you. Eh? But if you want to know, go to that military base at Ukwadi Junction. That is where they took my keke to. Tell them or beg them or do whatever I want to do. Let them release my keke to you. 
Simple. Okay, okay, fine. Agreed. I will do that. At least tell me what you did. I deserve to know. Those little people, they caught me because... What did I do? I just splashed little water. Not plenty, oh! He splashed little water. water on the military men. They caught me and commanded me to be rolling on the water. Just little water that I splashed on them. And they seized my keke. So, go there, tell them or beg them, do whatever you want to do. And get my keke for me. But you did not do that intentionally, right? How can I? I didn't do it intentionally now. It was a mistake. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. It's okay, I will go there. The military base at Ukwaji, right? I promise I'll come back with your keke, okay? Um, are you feeling any pain? Like... Still, don't, don't stop asking this, that kind of question. Am I your baby? I'm a moon huh? Okay, I'll bring your keke for you. Um, you said Ukwaji, right? Okay. Thank you, love you. Mwah. I hope you know that life without love is like creating a human being without a heart. How do you expect that human to function? Likewise, a fish cannot survive without water. My king, life without you has been meaningless. The last five years has been tough. The ill health of your late wife, you understand? Waking up every morning and having thoughts of you in another man's arm is one of the toughest battles that I have had to fight. For the last five years, I have engaged in a very fierce, emotional fight. I have lived missing you. But also, fighting to learn how to live without you. You don't think you should continue fighting? Who knows? You might come out victorious. I hope you know that what happened the first time was a big mistake. But allowing what happened the first time repeat itself again would be foolishness. I wish I never made a decision I made in the past. What are you talking about? Some things are better left unsaid. Tell me. But I tell you this, my king. My life has been meaningless without you. I will see you in court. Okay, for long. I will see you in court. Mm. Mm. Hey. 
sorry. Sorry. Thank you. I. Everywhere. Everywhere is burning me. Oh. I. Sorry, sorry, ah, sorry, ah, sorry. Yeah. Ah, easy. Easy. Sorry. I, I, sorry, sorry. Ah, I, 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 sorry. It's painful. It's sorry. painful. Ah, hi. 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 Ah. Ah. These people are so wicked. Very wicked. Why? I. Oh, it's painful. I, I. I take it easy now. It's painful now. It's painful. Take it easy. I. I. Ah. Oh. I. I. Now take it easy now. I wanna run mad again and me for eyes up. Take it easy. Sorry. I my vein. My vein. I I I I Sorry. Take it easy. I I didn't see this coming you know. Only I did not do this intentionally. Heaven knows I didn't do it intentionally. I didn't do it intentionally. I need attention, I need attention, I need it was a mistake. I was rushing to pick a sick customer of mine to the hospital. And I mistakenly, mistakenly splashed water on them. And that was it. That was all. This army people brought me out of my keke and panabited me. Hi! And in that could be fitting can I go back? No. They dealt with me. I begged them all. I, I, I pleaded with them. I, 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 I begged them. I pleaded with them. I begged them. But they didn't listen to me. They were just beating me like tomorrow. 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 If not exist again. There wasn't the whole situation. The system I get. Yeah? Hmm. It was tell how it was tell that I used her father's influence to retrieve my keke from them. If not, get if a man can call over. What will I tell the owner of the keke? Huh? The man that gave it to me for her purchase. How would I tell him? Hi. Hi, honey. Honey? Uh, honey? Ah. Uh, Hi. Hi. I'm talking to you. But well, your mind is not here. What were you thinking? No. I'm not I'm not thinking of anything. Is anything the matter? If you're not thinking of anything, what was the last thing I said? Um It is written in the holy book by Chukwu Kikabiyama, God the Creator, that he took a bone off the ribs of every man I made for each of them a very beautiful bride. One that they can call their soulmate. God the master planner. 
kuchukua kikabi hapa nje ko the one that heareth all and seeth all the one that perfects all in his time he makes no mistake Miriam Omale changwa Oke boy bom Anya wato tomo From the day I set my eyes on you I knew that you are the one that you kuoki kabiama has made for me You are the one made from the bone of my ribs to give me joy to make me complete as my soul made my soul tie But then I lost you. I lost you out of my love for humanity. Out of the benevolence of my heart. But life. Life has brought you my way again, Miriam. And so on a day like this I ask myself will a great king like me be so foolish to let go of the one that Chukwu Kikabiama has sent to him to make him complete Chenna ya is quite long uh, we have not seen uh well, what do i offer you uh, uh, oh no i'm not here and i'm not in the mood for anything i am here for a very serious business actually i don't need anyone to tell me that because the unhappiness is reflecting on your face all over you now tell me what is the problem I want to believe that my late sister, the former queen of this great kingdom whom you people buried few days ago, did not die a natural death. Uh, uh, did I hear you correctly? You heard me well. Uh, and what are you insinuating? Someone very close to her took her life for a reason best known to him. Uh, uh, Ushenaya How come? How did you come about all this since you are saying? Oh no, my sister appeared to me twice. Telling me that she's not happy with the king. Oh no. I don't need anybody to tell me that the king, your king, killed my sister with that deadly sickness. Uchenaya. We are all away that Your sister, the late queen, died of cancer. How come you accuse an innocent king? I am not. Hey, hold on. How come you accuse an innocent king of killing his own beloved wife? Oh no, I'm not accusing an innocent king of killing his own wife. Your king killed my sister. That is the reason she is not happy with him. Tell your king to confess. For I will play a music. He will never be able to dance to its tune. This is not a threat. I mean every bit of what I've just said here. Why are you shouting my name? Miri! Ah. Miri! Miri! Miri, come here! I am talking to you and you're walking out on me. What has come over you? Huh? 
You've been having so strange lately. Mary, what is the problem? I just said I am going to see my parents. My stepmother is not feeling too good. I want to go and see her and know how she's doing. Is that a problem? And I can go with you and see them. We are talking about my mother-in-law here. Kobina, what is wrong with you? Did, did you hear me mention that my mother is at the point of death? Did you hear me say that? So please, allow me to go see her while you go to work. And I can still go to work after seeing her. Can't I? Obina, the fact that we do not have children does not mean you don't have responsibilities. Listen to me. I am tired of this lifestyle. You see this? I am tired. You brought me all the way from the city back to the village. Are you expecting to be okay with it? Please, Obina. I am tired. I am tired. Go and hustle like other men and leave me alone. Stop following me like fly. Ah? Uh -huh. well, what are you talking about? What I am talking about is for you to go out there and hustle like other men. Stop fooling me like fly. Okay, ne? Okay, ne? Mary. Please, Mary. Don't, don't marry me, please. Mary! Everywhere I'm going, you want to go with me. Mary, Mama. Life with him over the years has been terrible. Really? Yes. Getting married to him is one big mistake I will never forgive myself for making. You know, this is the second time you're saying this. And each time, you say this with so much pain and bitterness. What really happened? I'd like to know. I wish I never met him my entire life. But you once loved him with all your heart. Yes, I thought I did. I later realized I did what I did out of sympathy and some stupid loyalty. My king, please. Can we just stop talking about this? I came here to see you so I can make you happy. Are you serious? Yes, I am serious. <laughs> you know, coming around you makes me happy. And at the same time, fulfilled. Just like having you around gives me joy. The kind of joy that I have not experienced in five years. Mm. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, can I go ahead and dish the food? By all means, baby. You can. But you see, I want you to know that your presence here is like food to my soul. <sighs> Just gives me the strength to come. <laughs> It's okay, come on, baby. It's, it's fine. No! It took me time to make this specially for you. I know, baby. I know the work you're putting in. It's okay. I mean, you know, you'll always make me something else. I just got one of the maidens to, to clean it up, okay? Um, it's okay. <sighs> Sweetheart, okay, okay, okay. You know what? You're here. How about you make me something while you're here? You just go to the kitchen and make me something. I could join you in the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> uh, you will join me in the kitchen? Oh, yes. We'll just make something really nice together. Are you joking? I'm serious. This sounds strange. 
But that would be nice. Yeah, it will be fun. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> Come on. Mama, you mean you are not sick? That you are very strong? What type of stupid question is that? Are you praying for me to fall sick? And may God forbid that I made that kind of prayer for you, Mama. It's not possible now. But your question is very suspicious. Uh, it's because my wife told me that she's coming to see her stepmother. I mean, my mother-in-law, whom she said I was sick. You are not serious. My daughter cannot say such lies. She cannot tell such lies. But Papa, she did. I even offered to come with her, but she refused. She asked me to go to work, and she wants to come all alone. I said, okay. So, how did you end up here if what you, what you just said is true? Uh, Mama, my keke had issue. So I took it to the mechanic. And while I was there, I thought it wise to come here with this item, that is, to come and see my, 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 my mother-in-law, that is sick. All right. If it is true that she says such thing to you, now where could she be? Because we have not seen her since today. Or have you? Nebe, I have not seen her. Exactly. Where, where could she be? <laughs> Stella, what is it? Why are you stalking me, Stella? Why? Can you calm down? I just want us to have a talk. Talk about what exactly? About us. Stella, there is no us and there will never be any us. There was, there is, and there will forever be us going forward. So I would really appreciate it if you stop avoiding me because I am your shadow. Be a shadow of your miserable self, Stella. There is no doubt that I love you a lot, a whole lot, but I wouldn't have you insult me as well. Stella, if insulting you will make you stop following me, honestly, I will go on and on and on and keep insulting you. Stella, it is over between us. Leave me alone. You know, I've actually dated a higher mighty in the society. No one, not even a single of them dumped me. And that will not start from you, because I do the dumping. So I would really advise you to do my bidding, else you will bear the consequences. Are you threatening me or what? Stella, have you forgotten so soon? Our past, how miserable our past was. I can never, ever go into a relationship with you. Never. You are only allowed to be with one woman, and that woman is me. Don't want to take your call. The caller is not someone that is important to me. My king, please. I don't want us to talk about anything that will spoil this beautiful moment that we share. No, I just wondered, I mean, it could be. Your... Can you please just stop? Stop, please. Stop it. to say for you to understand that I do not want to talk about him. Don't you want my happiness?
All I have ever wanted is your happiness. I showed you happiness the first time I saw you. And I have prayed for Chukuki Kabiyama to give me another chance to prove to you how happy I can make you. I have gotten another chance. And trust me, I am not going to lose you to anyone. Why do you say things you cannot do? What are you talking about? Action they say speaks louder than words. Put your words into action. And save me from the mystery that I'm facing in his hands. That is if you truly care about me. Of course I care about you. I care a lot about you. And I'm never going to let anyone take it from me. Woman, listen to me. If you know where you kept my daughter, go there and bring her out. Otherwise, I will do something both of us will regret. What kind of stupid accusation is that? Good. So I have become stupid. Listen to me. I am not accusing you. Rather, I'm stating the obvious. There's no way you will tell me that you don't know where Mary went. For crying out loud, both of you are very close. And I'm sure that she tells you what she does. So tell her to go back to her husband's house so the young man can have some peace of mind. Oh no. Oh no. Biko. You don't know that. Hold your mouth. Oh. Biko, I'm begging you. How dare you accuse me of, of, of such? How hmm. Is she no longer the child after her own father's heart? Biko, don't put this rubbish on my head. Woman. Go and look for her. Just pray that nothing happens to my daughter. Otherwise, otherwise, I will teach you a lesson you will not forget in a hurry. There is no lesson to teach me. Talk more of the one I will not forget in a hurry. Nothing. Let me tell you, if you continue to accuse me this way, I will tell the entire kingdom that you know your daughter's whereabouts. Nga Bofa, can't do for your daughter. Jake Kora Bagabi de Sariabiko. I have told you what I have in mind. It seems to me you are taking my chivalrousness for granted. Nga Kai Shiva Bazienu. Oka chivalrous, no problem. Let's chivalrous it. Eh? Udo Ibo. Eh, Biko Biko, you allow me some peace. How dare you lie to me that your mother is sick? Why your mother is not sick? I didn't even go to your parents' house. And what right do you have to ask me such a question? Huh? How dare you talk to me in such manner and tone? Huh? And who are you to tell me how to talk to you? Who? Now listen, listen and listen real good. It's obvious you're not coming from your parents' house. So tell me, where are you coming from? Mr. Ma, please. I beg you in the name of God, allow me go inside and rest. Do not spoil my day for me. I'm begging you, please. Let it not be what I'm thinking. Let it not be that you went to a man's house. And if I went to a man's house, what will you do? It better not be that. Okay, fine. I went to a man's house. Do your worst. Do that thing you think you can do. Do it. Haven't I told you that I'm tired of this bondage you call marriage? Haven't I told you? I am tired! How do I have to sing it all the time? What is wrong with you? What has come over you? Why are you misbehaving? What is it? Look! Who sowed this seed of discord in your heart? Who? And don't forget that this marriage before better for us. I am tired of this marriage. Oh, for the Mulanya, why I married you out of sympathy? Oh.
marriage is for better for worship. If I go, there is no going back. Mary, Stella, what is the meaning of this? How many times have I warned you to stay away from me? How many times? Could that be the reason you did this to me? And that we wouldn't do something worse than you experienced if you do not leave this place. Stella, come on, this is not fair. Why would you do that? Grace, please, don't allow me vent out my anger on you. Oh, yeah? You know what? Get it ready to pour more drinks on me. Because you are going to see more of me these days. Yes! Don't you dare, Johnson. Don't even dare me. Because I will give you the shock of your life. I am warning you not to. Johnson, I'm, I'm very, very sorry, okay? Please forgive her, okay? I'm very, very sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I've already forgiven her. Stella, you did this to me? No problem. Thank you for this. But I will, I will, I will never give up. Johnson, I'm so sorry, okay? I'm very, very sorry. Oh. you shouldn't have done that. Please, Grace, you can as well leave. Oh, really? I should go? I said leave if you want to. What's wrong, what's wrong with you? Greetings to you, King of Oboduku Kingdom. Ah. My love. Uh, since when did you begin to greet me in that manner? I hope all is well. I ask because you don't look happy to me. What is it? Sit down, sit and talk to me, for I am confident that I can provide the solution to whatever troubles you have. Sit. Why did you do it? Why did you do what you did to my sister? What are you talking about? Oh, don't pretend. Don't pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. Why did you have to treat my sister that way? Uchenna. Do you realize that you're in my presence? Uchenaya, it is very important for you to know that as a man, it is expedient that you know your class and your level, wherever you find yourself. Now, the fact that life has brought us together and made me your in-law does not give you the rights to raise your voice at me and speak to me in that tone. As you are here, you are going to watch your words and you are going to watch your tone. What will you do? Now tell me, what will you do to me? Kill me the way you killed my sister? Huh? What? What did you say? My sister loved you with all her heart. My family accepted you and showered you with love. But what did you do? You turn around like the nice leg that you are and beat her with your dangerous venom. Let me tell you. Everything everyone does in this earth has a reward. And your own reward will be served to you just the way you did to my sister here on earth. Enough! Which enough? Watch your mouth. You stand there and accuse me of 
killing my own wife. Who said no? Close your mouth. Close your mouth. Shut it before the gods of this land strike you dead. Oh, so the gods! I refuse, my king. I refuse. The gods can only listen when the innocent calls on them. Not when a man whose hands are dripping with the blood of the innocent is calling on them just to cover up for his sins. Confess. Confess. Else, I will make you pay for what you did to my late sister. Do not say I didn't warn you. Don't say I did not warn you. Excuse me. Stella, you really went too far. You shouldn't have poured drink on him. I mean, he's uncalled for. Was that the reason you did what you did? <sighs> Let's call it spirit, spirit. Not a working implement. What you did was wrong. You're beginning to sound like my father and I don't like it. <laughs> you know what? You hate hearing the truth. And that is why I'm your friend. I'll keep on telling you until it gets to your ear. Grace, mm -hmm. what truth are you talking about? That you overreacted. What you did is wrong. I did nothing wrong. I have told that man countless times that I do not want to set my eyes on him ever again. Oh yeah? Come to think of it, don't I have the right to quit a relationship I am not comfortable in? <laughs> don't I? I never said you don't have the right. So what are you talking about? I am saying that you should stop this your behavior. It's not good. Come to think of it. Johnson loves and still wants to back. But I have told that man a lot of times that I do not want him. <laughs> I've made it clear to him that I don't want to have anything to do with him. How else do I explain it to him? <sighs> Grace, that man almost destroyed my life. He's the reason I broke up with Obi. I don't understand. I mean, what are you saying? Johnson is a beast. If I tell you what he has done to me, you would never ever want him an inch close to me for any reason. So when advising me, also try to understand me. Obi, do you mean my daughter told you that she's no longer interested in the marriage? Yes, Papa, she, she said so. As a matter of fact, this is not the first time she says something like this. <laughs> this is very strange. Honestly, I find it difficult to believe that my own daughter will open her mouth her vocal cavity to say such a thing to you. Baba, it's very strange to me as well. Baba, I love her so much. I love her so much. I do not want to lose her. She's all I have in this world. Uh, now, uh, uh, tell me, did you, did you, because uh, what, 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 I'm, what I'm envisaging is a kind of teeth. That slight quarrel between lovers. Did you do anything wrong to her? Papa, I didn't do anything wrong to her. At least, to the best of my knowledge, no. I, I, I didn't. Obi, don't ask me parrot fashion. This question demands introspection. That's self-examination. Tell me the truth. I will handle the rest. Did you do anything bad to her? Papa, I, I didn't. If I did something wrong to her, I won't be here asking you, or rather, I won't be here reporting to you. I didn't. Very strange. Quite strange. It means something must be wrong somewhere. But, but, but we can't place our finger on it for now. You know. Something is wrong somewhere. 
That is why I am here, to help me find out. Something, something is wrong somewhere. And that is why I am here, so you can help me find out. Why are you driving like somebody who is being chased by death? Ichi, I am the death that is chasing after a person. And I'm going to kill who is involved if he doesn't take his time. What are you talking about? I was actually coming to your house before I met you here. What's the problem? The death of my sister is not ordinary. And I am so much concerned about it. Ichi, I tell you, I'm so certain that the king has a hand in it. <laughs> Are you saying that the king is responsible for the death of his late wife, your sister? Do you know the gravity of what you've just said? I've already told her no. And I'm just coming back from the palace. The royal cabinet members should advise him to confess to his atrocities. Else, I will make him pay with everything he has, including his life. A word they said is enough for the wise. Your Majesty, I find it difficult to believe that Uchenna has the guts to walk into this palace and talk to you the way you said he did. I, who is he? He would, have, he would have ordered your guards to deal with him mercilessly. But no, oh, no. A wisdom. There is a reason the lion retreats at the sudden sight of human beings. Wisdom. Mm. Wisdom. I agreed, agreed, Your Majesty. But even at that, he did not just insult you. He insulted the throne of Fubuduku Kingdom. He insulted the, the entire people of Fubuduku Kingdom. Well, oh no, I invited you here to have this talk with you because uh, it is said that when one person sees a tiny snake, it could be mistaken to be a very big python. That is true. You see, this same Uchenna came to me with that same useless discussion. I dismissed him. I never knew he would still continue to the extent of coming to you with that same useless topic. Uche Naya came to you to tell you that me, he came, killed my wife. Of course, but he might go now, but I'm going to die now, but you also, no. You see, I, I dismissed him because I never took him serious. I know him. He he acts. Under the influence of hard drugs. Oh no, why it, it, did you not come to me with this matter? Why did you not tell me about it? Like I said, he, he, he is under an influence of an alcohol. He takes something that disturbs his health. And of course, he is not a serious person. I know him for that. So I did not take him serious, and besides, I know you will not do that. You did not kill your wife. Oh no, it is part of your responsibility to ensure that matters like this are not swept under the carpet. Topics like this can be damaging to the reputation of your king. You should know better. Mm. You, you are very correct, Your Majesty. As it is, um, what, what do you think we are going to do? 
give me time to think. It's okay, Your Majesty. Adogo, Mini, your daughter wants to divorce her husband. What? Where did you get such information from? Anyway, her husband was here early in the day. He told me that um, Mini threatened to divorce him. This is serious, so. I mean, what could make him marry threaten to divorce her husband? The man she chose over every other person. You see, if I knew, I wouldn't have been having this conversation with you now. Now tell me, Adugo, what is going on between me and her husband that warrants divorce? Tell me. <laughs> hey, Okunoka. Okunoka. Oh no, you have come again. Ibiakwa. What type of question is that? A am I living with both of them in the, in the same house? Miri does not hide anything from you as her stepmother. And I am sure there is something which you know that I don't know. Something I know that you don't know is what does not exist. And I know, let me tell you, the earlier you put a call across to her to come and explain things to us, the better for you. As for that marriage, I don't care whether it is dissolved or not. I don't care. I don't even like that young man in the first place. Tell me, what exactly did that young man do to you that made you hate him with acrimony? That question is not necessary. Come to think of it, like you told me, we are you not the one that asked them to get married to each other? All right, Figuam. It is good that you pray for them not to separate. And I know, but let me ask you, the poor status of that young man, is it not enough reason for Mary to divorce him? You see, you are not coming out of your shells. You are showing you are true color. Characters like you are the type we call in Latin anguish in harbor. That's green snake in a green grass. That's green snake under green grass. How can a woman who rejected the richest man in this kingdom just to be married to me suddenly change and become something else? What is going on? What did you say to my father that made him call me on the phone? And what did he say to you? That you visited him today and he wants to see me. Why? Then go and see him and find out why he summoned you. <sighs> Just pray it has nothing to do with the both of us. Because if it does, trust me, I swear to God, I will tell them everything that I'm passing through in this marriage. I would... I would... Hey! Just remember you took an oath of secrecy never to tell anyone what happens in this marriage. Just remember that. <laughs> 